G'day everyone and welcome welcome back to Down on Bottington Farm. A little while ago I did a hint on growing tomatoes with carrots in tubs. As you may see here, our little tomatoes have come along very nicely. Don't know if you got the last one but you get the gist. Anyhow, bit of glare there. Alrighty. So, this time I'm taking it a bit further and I'm showing this for those people who have a very small or confined space how they can actually grow these tomatoes to a suitable height and support them. So, on a balcony or a very small yard or if you live in a high rise, you've got a small balcony, you might be able to you would be able to fit these on your balcony and grow yourself some nice fresh tomatoes. All right. What do I do? Well, I've got myself some small stakes from my local hardware shop. I won't be giving them a, a hit, but it starts with B. And I've got myself some Ricky's twine. Bright pink. Fabulous. Now, the reason why I, I chose Bricky's twine this time is that it's strong, it's durable, and it has a UV resistance. I found it that the Bricky's twine that I've used in my own vegetable garden has actually lasted a long time. They've been out in elements 24-7. So, without further ado, let me just a little bit of tilting here. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. Here's one I prepared earlier. As you can see, I've got the pot with the, with the tomatoes here, which are coming along very nicely. What I've done is that I've got one, two, three, four, four stakes, which I have tied up around the bottom and accepting across the top. All the way up. If you notice, let me get a nice and close here. Here we go. Hey, how's that? I have, if you look down, crisscrossed it. The purpose of this is that the tomato plants will be able to grow up in between these crisscrossings, have a little bit of support, and if you need to give it some extra support, you can use some, say, old stocking socks anything basically to tie them to these supporting strings or the stakes so let's have another look down from the top here hey that magic eh <coughs> we go to the other one over here where are we? oh yeah here's another one now as you can see this pot is slightly different to the, to the other one so what it has given me is a more flared top, as you can see around here. Looks like basically like a garden version of the Sputnik on its nose, eh? But if we look down from the top, we've got more or less the same effect. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. A Shed Wars gardening tip. For people who are growing tomatoes in a, a small space. We've got them in the pots, unos, dos. I managed to put a frame around the outside which isn't taking up too much room and if need be I can have them spaced on my balcony, on my porch and if I have to I can do one of them across the top here to pro provide extra growing or more growing area and support for my tomatoes as I progress. So, there you have it, folks. Growing tomatoes in a small area or balcony. If you like what you see, please su subscribe, hit the like button, thumbs up, and tickle the bell so you'll be up. 
updated and notified when we post another vlog. Until such time, go Team Down Under. Love you.